All right, let's see if this sound is hooked up. All right, let's see. Let's see if it's set up. All right, let's see. All right, the sound is good. Linda H, what's going on? Misha's moments, what's happening? Guys, as usual, give me about two or three minutes to set this uh, thing up here. I got to do my thumbnail and all of this stuff. The way YouTube is now, it's, it's, it's wild. You, you guys know. One second. Should be almost there. What's going on? Everybody welcome. Let me get this thumbnail up here so people know we have a live stream going. Save it. One second. I'll be with you guys. Hey, do me a favor. We got 39 people in here. Uh, most of you guys been here before. Hit that thumbs up on your way in, please, please. It'd be greatly appreciated. Okay. I'm almost done. I'm just copying and pasting so I ain't got to type out a bunch of stuff. All right. Back to the live stream and we're here. We, on, we, in, we in the house. Now we rolling. All right, we, who we got? WLJ, Sylvia, what's up? Tony Bryan in the next room. Hey, girl. Ah, Carl Major Raheem, Heather Stanley. Susie Q, what up? Susie Q, I got a muscle shirt on under here, a medium too, in case you're interest, in, in you, uh, interested in knowing. Don Quiones, what's happening? Frederick Keller. Belinda. All right, guys, I'm up here looking at myself on a commercial. Okay, we back into it. All right, 702, we'll wait about three more minutes, and then we'll get this thing started. I just put the thumbnail up. Shout out, Idaho. You know what I'm saying? Who told me to shout out, Idaho? Who, who was that? Gilligan's Laws. He still ain't been found. He's still on that island. That show was made in the 60s. He's probably dead now. Yvette Holland, Robert Chapman, 100. Hey, listen, last time I was on here, I gave out the uh, blue wrenches to uh, all of my uh, new mods. So congratulations to you guys. I was talking to Tony and I was thinking that I might set up a group chat where like, you know, all of my mods can connect each other, me included, where I'll send out a big group text to everybody. And after the show, we could all communicate and laugh and joke and stuff like that. If you guys are interested, does that sound like something you guys would be interested in? Just let me know. If so, we, we'll I'll make an announcement on one of my videos. That, that would be cool. Hey, Steve, we had an earthquake in. Oh, that was the day. I didn't know New Jersey was on a fault line. I had no idea. I said, earthquake, New Jersey, Philadelphia, and uh, New York. I looked, I looked at the thumbnail. I was like, eh, I ain't interested in it. But anyway, we're going to get this thing going. You said it's snowing there? Gilligan's Lost is snowing in Idaho? Thelma Hush. 
She say, hey, Stevie. She say that every day. I'll be feeling bad when I don't answer back because I'll be on there. You know, I'll be doing those, uh, those premieres. I do that just strictly for y'all, for y'all to communicate and laugh with each other. What's crazy about it, I'll be feeling so bad. Sometimes I'll be still in here making videos and I'm not looking at, because I got to go in the other room on my big screen TV to see the uh, comments pop up. So I might go in there just for a second to see, you know, what's going on. And I see everybody saying, hey, Steve, I'll be feeling so bad. I'm not even in there to say hi back. <laughs> Y'all are probably like, this dude is a douchebag. Shout out King Delight. Thank you for the uh, super chat. But um, yeah, man. Hey, uh, you know, we do this every uh, Friday night. Uh, on Saturdays, we go over to King Delight's channel. A lot of y'all in here, man. You go over there. We do a lot. His channel. We talk about certain topics, depending on you know whatever me and him come up with. Usually, stuff with like social issues and things that's just going on. That you know, a lot of stuff that you know people need to be mindful of. You know what I'm saying? Kimiana, she's back. Ride or die, member. You know what I'm saying? Raheem, shout out. Thank you, brother. And um, we go to these. Uh, we go to King's channel. And we talk about a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? And it's open forum, which is cool, meaning like anybody that comes to the live stream, they can be a part of the show. You can show your face. He has the stream yard set up. It's really nice. So, I mean, I go over there and I show, show, show support to King because, you know, he has a pretty big channel, too, if you guys didn't know. So shout out to King, you know what I'm saying? Belinda. Thank you, Belinda. I appreciate it. Belinda, I'm mad at you. I ain't heard from you in a couple of days. Tony's worried sick. We don't know what's going on out there. All right, listen, you all ready to get these stories going? Let's get these stories going. In fact, you know what? I got I to gotta act like I'm in control here, but you know I'm not. We got 35 people in here. I need two more thumbs up. Make it 37. We can get this thing started. You know what I'm saying? Miss Independent, what's happening, baby? All right, we got 36. I need one more. Thumbs up button. Hit, hit the thumbs up one more time. Let's get this thing going. The rest of these 68 people are screaming at somebody because they ain't hit that thumbs up button. Okay, 38. Let's go. All right. I got a few stories for y'all. Um, I'm going to talk about now. I'm going to talk about the elephant in the room right now because a lot of y'all had questions. Tony is here. <laughs> a lot of people like I don't mention Tony on the videos. For one reason, Tony's not a social media person. She's very quiet. Now, she may get on King's forum sometimes because she ain't got a short face. And if it's something that tickles her fancy for her to talk, she's going to talk. But Tony is in the building. She's in the next room watching me on the big screen TV. She's here. But um, this first thing I'm going to talk about, I was supposed to do a vlog, right, of me and Tony's journey back here. I know y'all was wondering what happened. <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all why. Okay. Me and Tony left. North Carolina. In fact, let me tell you about the moving stuff first. And she ain't gonna want me to tell him. I'm telling it. I'm gonna get in trouble, y'all. But I, you know, I'm gonna go all out for my viewers. I'm gonna tell y'all. <laughs> y'all know Tony's a woman, and I'm not saying nothing to disrespect women, but y'all got some heavy ass stuff. We don't know how y'all get stuff in the house, but y'all get it in there, and then don't never think about getting it out. When me and Tony had to move the stuff out of our house, right? I mean, out of her place, it was just me and her. The stuff in, in the room, in her room, her bedroom set and all this other stuff. It was a really a good move getting the stuff down the steps, but she got them kind of steps where you go down. It's a couple of steps and then it turns a little bit. Then it, it steps again and then it turns and goes down and then it steps again. So it's like a twisted stairwell. All the stuff she had was like six and seven feet long. It's like, she's talking about, don't hit the walls. I'm like, in no way, I'm not going to be able to hit the walls. It's just me and you, and the steps are steep. So we got through all of that. But I'm going to tell y'all something. She did some foul stuff to me Sunday morning. We moved everything out the bedroom, put the stuff in storage and other stuff, right? Put all the stuff in storage. We left the bed there. We just left the mattress. We had the moving van, moving truck outside. And so we're going to pack up the mattress in the morning. And then we're going to go to the uh, storage, drop the stuff off in storage, and then hit the highway and just book, right? Get in the car. Well, not even, not even before we got in the car. 
We put all the, we put the bed frame and all that stuff in the truck. Now it's time for the mattress. Tony got a mattress. I ain't never seen this before. It's a, you know, how people have, a, you have a box spring in the mattress. The way her thing was set up, I don't know where she got this bed from, but everything was all in one. So the mattress and box spring was together. That drawing was like this thick. You know what I'm saying? Pick it up. We taking it down the steps. Tony going to let the damn thing go. And it falls on me while I'm going down the steps and smushes me against the wall. When it smushed me against the wall, I happen to look and see her, right? I'm like, damn, I see it hit me. She going to run and act like she grabbing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, they all, why, women always say, ooh. Why y'all say, ooh, and y'all know y'all did that shit on purpose? Ooh, and here she come, but she laughing. She don't know I can see her through the mattress because the mattress is squishing me. She like, ooh, she gonna stick her tongue out. I said, I got it, I got it. Man, that shit scarred my elbow up and everything. I got a burn mark off the wall from my thing. So I gets outside, we get some mattress in the thing. We take the thing and then we move off, right? So now we're going down the road. Man, I swear to God. <laughs> Listen, you never know nobody until you live with them or have children with them. Now, me and her pass our childbearing years. We ain't got to worry about that. But living with somebody is different than staying with them for a couple of weeks. Man, we get in the car. I'm happy as hell. I came and got her. We heading back to Houston. I can put thumbnails on my damn videos. You know what I'm saying? Because my videos last week was trifling. So anyway, right? We're driving. We leave in Charlotte. We on the highway. Out of the blue, I start getting the damn history lesson. See that mountain over there? That's where the French Revolution was fought. General such and such, Ulysses, that's Grant. The Civil War was over here, yeah. And she just start going in the phone. Yeah, it says right here. I'm like, damn, you're like John Wise. Don't nobody give a damn. I'm not going to see this shit no more. I don't care what's in the mountains. You know what I'm saying? I'm going down. And I'm like, I don't want to say nothing like, Baby, I'm gonna hear that shit. You, you know, man, 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 you know how we are. We be driving and we talking. And I'm like, we ain't been. This is what I said in my head. Oh, Revolutionary War, my bad. I mean, either way, I wasn't fucking there and I don't care. Shit, you know what I'm saying? She like talking and like, as, as guys, we don't, we don't care about that shit. We don't care. We just wanna get to where we going. You know what I mean? I got a long ass drive. I'm making a drive myself. She over there looking cute. Yo, listen. Before we even get into this, the damn car was packed. Now, she got a Toyota Corolla, right? It's like a 2021 or 2020. It's small. I said, take everything you need to make yourself at home when we get to my place. The big furniture we put in storage. I got to go back down there in July, y'all. We're going to fly back, get a rental car, drive around town, do what she got to do so she can take some business. Then we're going to drive a rental truck all the way back. That drive in her car was brutal. You hear me? That shit was brutal. By the time we got done, we hated each other for about 10 minutes. But then, you know, reality set back in. But anyway, listen, we in the car, right? We didn't drop all that stuff. We had so much stuff when we packing up the car. Now, I'm trying to stack this stuff in the car a certain way to where, you know, we can have more room. Tony keeps coming out the house with more shit. She got comforters that's not even folded up. She's just bringing big ass pillows. It was like 50 pillows in the fucking car. Three trash cans. I, I put four figures up. Three trash cans. Little, little waste. I'm like, yo, I only got two bathrooms in my place. Why you need four trash cans? Oh, we might need some tools, all kind of stuff. She brought up three bags of Doritos. The car couldn't take no more. She rode. From Houston to, uh, I mean, from uh, Charlotte, North Carolina to Houston, that's like 19 hours. No, 16 hours with a book bag between her legs that was big as hell. Sitting up to the side like this with a book bag. We could not put nothing behind us. We had a lamp, a, a desk lamp. It was a pretty lamp, right? A full-size lamp. We took the uh, lamp cover off and stuck that shit right between us on the, on the arm thing. I'm driving and holding it. The whole time we driving, I was in the car so much because like I ain't never drove long distance like that before. So I don't want to I don't I don't I hate the highway. It's like it's like vertigo. Everything is the same. Look, we driving, right? 
I got the, uh, I'm driving so far. I got my hand on this the whole time, right? I got my knees because my knees are up against the little center console thing. I wore, uh, I had like almost a bed sore on my knees from driving because I was just rubbed up against the damn thing and I had anxiety because I was ready to get out and I kept bumping against it. I had to take a piece of paper towel. We stopped at Wendy's. I had to take a piece of, a stack of paper towel, right? And stick it between my leg and the plastic thing. My shit still hurt. And I'm like, yo, I can't keep doing, I can't do this no more. So this next time, she better get everything she gonna get because my ass ain't going back down here again. She wanted to get mad. But anyway, right? She gives me the history lesson. We go to, we stop in Alabama, right? That's when y'all see me make that little YouTube short saying, hey, I won't make no videos today. I'm gonna have to make this run. So from Alabama to Houston, we rode, we, we drove back. So we get to Alabama that night, right? We in the bed, bedroom. When we in the bedroom, remember I said you never know somebody till you live with them? I was at her place. Them couple times I went down there and I stayed with her, right? So I didn't see this type of shit. Man, look, we get in the hotel room. She has to get her pillows out the car. Now the car, the doors, we had to push the doors. Like they spring loaded almost way. Like if you pull the handle, shit would just fly out the street. I packed that car. I don't want to open nothing in the back. Now I got my suitcases. I got suitcases out, but things are what they are. I go get the suitcases. She like, go get the pillows. What pillows? It's like 50 in the car. Thank you, Re React. I'm like, uh, go get the pillow. I said, what's wrong with these pillows here? Now, I'm going to tell y'all something. I do some fucked up shit. Remember I told y'all back in the day, my uncle, my, my granddad, John Watts, used to take towels from Holiday Inns and like souvenirs and stuff. I do that with pillows. If I lay in, like, <laughs> I went to Bellagio in Vegas one time and I laid on the pillows. And the pillows was like clouds and shit. And I'm like, oh, man, if I can get one of these pillows in the dam through the airport, like, fuck it, I'm going to try it. And I'm like, if I get caught, I'm going to say, I ain't know. <laughs> I took the pillow and put it back the pillow in the other room right there. But anyway, right? I like pillows. So we get in there. They got these little fluffy pillows. Like, they, they on the bed. Like, we was, what, what hotel was that? We were staying in, Tony. What, what hotel was that you booked? This is another thing. We can't never have no regular hotel room. This motherfucker got to book a house, a mini house. This shit had a sofa in it. It had a window where it overlooked the, the pond. And Tony, just get a damn room. We ain't going to be in here no more than 13 hours. All I need is a bed. You know what I'm saying? She got to get a suite. Exactly. She got to get a suite. Just get a hotel room with one bed in it and a clean bathroom. That's all we need. We just laying here. This Tony. Now we back to the hotel room. I don't want got the pillows and all this, right? This Tony, this one the crazy in the start. Tony said, go get the pillows. I go get the pillows, bring them back up, up and down the steps multiple times, up and down the elevator multiple times. Go get the pillows. Next thing you know, I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna tell him, Tony. I'm gonna to, I gotta tell him. Now y'all know my teeth fake. So I take my teeth out and I put them in the denture thing, right? <laughs> They had a glass. They had a glass in the bathroom. I don't know if it was a glass for you to gargle with or it was just there. It was a, it was a, it was a clean glass. I'm in the car. I got my teeth in all day. I'm like, I'm ready to take these shits out. So I take the teeth out. Now she's seen me do this before. I take the teeth out, right? And I just throw them in the glass. Shit, I, I earn that, right? I take the little fizzy tab to get the glue off. I throw it in there like on, on the TV commercial back in the day. The teeth is just in there. Tony says, she comes out the bathroom. She says, Steve, go downstairs and get your, uh, she brought me this little thing that hold my dentures. It's like a little white plastic thing, but it hides what they look like. Uh, go, go get that thing I brought you. I said, why? I got a glass in there with the teeth in it right now. She said, guy, she said, just like this. She said, Steve, she do this thing with her mouth, but she like, I don't want to brush my teeth and look at your teeth. It just grosses me out. Man, I fell out. I fell out. I never heard nobody that was some disrespectful shit. I don't want to see your teeth while I'm brushing my teeth. What do you say? Tony said, Tony said, I don't want to look at your teeth 
What the fuck? The teeth ain't over there. Don't even look over there. The sick hair, brush, and look in the mirror. Don't look over there. Like, damn, I got a right to put my teeth where I want. They my goddamn teeth. I paid fucking damn it 3000 for these shits. You know what I'm saying? Tony Craig, and she was dead serious, Geechee Dan. She was dead serious. Tony said, I, I can't do it. I, I don't want to brush my teeth and look at your teeth. Like, it, it's gross. I was like, damn. So now I got this complex with my teeth and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, when I take them out, like, she leaned up in, like, when I be in the bedroom, she be laying on the bed. She don't think I see her. I start popping my teeth out. I see her leaning up so she can see where I'm putting the teeth. I think this some shit. <laughs> some shit. <laughs> it's crazy. But anyway, that, that was one thing that happened. Another thing that was funny was this. She pulls out these wipes, these disinfectant wipes, right? And I'm like, what the fuck is you doing? She start wiping shit down. She grabs the remote control. She starts wiping. I mean, she's going around the numbers and everything. I said, what is you doing? Oh, uh, you know how much germs is on these? They did a study. She started, here we go, getting technical again. They did a study. It's more germs on this than anywhere else in the hotel room. The, the remote control, this is how you get sick. I never wiped down a goddamn remote control ever, ever. And I was trying to be nice because the, the John Wash was coming out. I was trying to be nice. I said, okay. She wiped it down for 10 minutes, y'all. By the time she got done and we looked at it, the goddamn number six was rubbed off. I don't know if it was too much alcohol or nothing. She rubbed the number six off the fucking remote control. I said, they're going to make you pay for that. She's like, no, they're not. She takes the remote control before we leaving and sticks it under the damn cushion of the thing. I said, Tony, you gangster as hell. Tony, what the fuck wrong with you? Tony, you crazy. Oh, they'll find it when they clean up. They'll find it. Tony is, Tony's a nut. Then this is the part, this is another part that's crazy too. We lay in the bed, right? What is that thing called, Tony? That, what was that blanket called? I, I ain't never heard the name. She know what the, the shit is. The blanket was textured. It had this certain type of texture, like embroidering on it. So I'm laying there, and the cover's on me. I'm laying next to her. I'm like, damn. I like this. I'm like, man, it's cozy and stuff like this. She, her arm brushes across the top of the blanket. She goes, oh, I don't like how that feels. She grabs it and throws it. She throws the blankets off of me and her, like, uh, like it was poison. I said, you just threw them off of me, too. Like, I, I liked it. Why, why, why'd you do that? I just didn't like how I feel. I didn't like how I feel. I said, what the fuck? It's a blanket. It's a textual thing. Like, man, I was going through it, man. It was all right, though. But I, I, will, I'm, I will say this, though. And it's not like I'm clowning. I will say this, though. Traveling, she's quiet in the car. You know what I'm saying? She played her music. I let her play her music. And we had a good time. But by the time we got back, we hated each other because the first day we drove six hours, that was good. When we had to do the nine hour drive and having to get out and get back in the car and we started getting vertigo and seemed like we was on the same road over and over. We started like being like, okay, we got to get out the car. But we got back here like late. What kind of music did she play? That's a good, that's a, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. Tony listens to all kind of music. Me, I listen to rap and I listen to R&B. She hates the R&B I like. I like that old 80s, 90s R&B. She like, I'm too young for that out. You know, she, she ain't trying to feel it, right? So she ain't like that. She likes Biggie. Like she like rap. I mean, Tony like rap. But the thing with her is she's like a diehard Tupac fan and everything she was playing was commercial. I'm like, all this good jams, like, the, the stuff on the radio wasn't his best stuff. You know what I'm saying? And Tony, like, she don't care. Tony just like, I mean, she had Biggie stuff on there and like, she listened to a lot of rap. I'm like, you know, I ain't saying, I'm like, damn. Looking at you, you wouldn't know that you listen to like more black music than me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I hardly ever listen to music now. I mean, I'm doing this and, you know, I'm older anyway, but Tony be knowing all the jams. But, um, yeah, we got back and we had a good time. I mean, it was a good thing. And I got to make that trip again, y'all. Man, it was brutal. The gas alone, you know, 
for her car, I guess because it was weighed down, because her car get good gas mileage. That little car, because the car was weighed down, we had to keep filling up. Now I can can you imagine when I go down there this time with the with a with the, one of those big trucks and bring that truck back, man, the damn fuel cost gonna be high. For real, it's gonna be high. But anyway, man, she's here, she's adjusting, she's having a good old time, she's happy. I thought she was gonna bust in here and scream on me when I told them stories. So evidently I might be uh doing better than I thought. But anyway, let me jump into these stories. I just wanted to tell y'all, you know, what was going on with us. But um, y'all remember Wonder Woman? I'm going to tell you a story about my granddad and my brother. And you know, John Wash was a manly man. He ain't played nothing where you look feminine or anything like that. He would just fire up on you. I'll never forget it because these are stories I was telling Tony in the car. Y'all remember the Wonder Woman with Linda Carter in the 80s? A lot of y'all are my age. Y'all remember that? where she would spin around. She had business clothes on and then she would spin around and she would turn to Wonder Woman. Me, I used to watch Wonder Woman all the time. I was a kid. I just liked her. I ain't know nothing about sex or nothing, but I just thought she was sexy. I mean, I didn't know what sex was, but whatever she was, I liked. So I'm watching this Linda Carter, Wonder Woman stuff, right? And we used to watch it. And, you know, it was kind of like the 60s and it was like the 70s, early 80s. So they still had that weird, like. Funny, they would sing songs while the person would transform and remember it'd be like, doom, 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 Wonder Woman, like that. <laughs> I felt so stupid saying that shit. But anyway, listen. Something happened and Wonder Woman was tied up or something and then like she had broke free. And like the bad guys like was looking like and then she turned to Wonder Woman. We had got super. I was like, oh, we was all hyped, right? And she's like, it spins around there like Wonder Woman. And like she, she's turning to Wonder Woman. My brother gets hyped. He jumps up. He like, Stevie, look. And he spinned around. He said, Wonder Woman. He spinned around. John Wash came out of fucking nowhere with the belt. And what's crazy about this shit is. You my granddad ain't play no boy acting feminine. You know, back in the day, they ain't play that. What's funny is he just jumped up and said it. So where was the belt at? He pulled the belt off in like milliseconds. My, my brother just jumped up near the kitchen, near the table. And he's like, Steve, look, what the woman? He did his head like this. He spit her out. By the time he turned around his first time, and I went to look, I seen the belt coming from, you know, he was around the corner. I seen the belt just come. Came there. Now, look, you know, I don't know how y'all was beat. And like y'all laugh and stuff when I'll be telling y'all these stories about where me and my, my brothers get fucked up by John Wash. John Wash brutally fucking you. He put that belt on you, man. It was different. It was different. You know, like. Say like you get beat with a belt, they beat your legs. John Wash would just swing wherever it hit you, it hit you. I cannot tell you multiple times I had whelp school. <laughs> of belt lines going just different directions on my fucking body. My brother was little. John Wash, like 5'8". He swings, the belt comes down. Raga! i never forget it. Every time my brother used to get hit back in the day, he would never scream. He would get hit, that first hit, right? Because we, we got hit hundreds of times with the belt, but it was like one time. Whack. You know, that's a warning. But like six or seven times I got brutalized where he just grabbed me and fucked me up. You know what I'm saying? So this is one of the times we just get a whack. So he throws, he, he throws the belt. He hits my brother. My brother doesn't scream. My brother does the same thing every time he gets hit. No matter where he's at, he could be standing in snow, ice, mud, dog shit. It don't matter. He sits down immediately. <laughs> Indian style. And then he sits down. Then <laughs> he just looks at my granddad. So John Wise smacks him with the belt and just stands there dry, even staring at him. And then he walks off. It's, it would be the craziest shit. And then about five minutes later, we'd go back to normal and act like it never happened, but we'd have whelps all over us and shit. <laughs> Yo, man, it, it was buck wild, man. Y'all be laughing, but my granddad was an animal, man. I mean, he was an Listen. I have people that I'll be telling them about John Wash, right? And they'd be like, man, that wouldn't have happened with me. I'd fuck John Wash up. I bet you you wouldn't. 
I bet you you wouldn't. This motherfucker's hands was like catcher's mitts. And he was squatty built. This motherfucker would hit you with the belt. And your fucking muscles would have whelps on him. This motherfucker did not play. But I mean, it took, it took a lot for him to do that. Unless you did something real crazy outside of something the boy would do. You would, you would get a taste. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he said, hit you when I want to. <laughs> right? He's crazy. But yeah. He, 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 he jacked my brother up. Yeah. You're right, Geechee. There, and them old people made differently. They are. You know what I'm saying? Who said, Tony, do she need the belt? Do I, do she need the belt? Nah, I, I, nah. She don't need the belt. I'm going to tell you another story. We was at Anaheim, California. I think out of Anaheim is where Disney World is. Anybody in here from California? Ain't it? A Anaheim is where Disney World is, right? Is it? Ain't it? I think, yeah, I don't know if anybody here from California. Anna, it's, it got to be in Anaheim, I guess. Go to Disney World, right? They got this thing in Disney World. If any of y'all been, they had a Mickey Mouse parade, like, I think three times a day or whatever. It had to be like three or four in the afternoon. We get on Main Street. We sitting out there. It's me, my cousin, uh, Michelle, my two brothers. We drove all the way from New Jersey to California, y'all, to go to Disney World. He drove us all the way out there. We at this parade, right? They got Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse, all of these, you know, Pluto. They got group, they, but they have people dressed in these suits. So I'm a little bit older. So like that kind of stuff, I'm kind of like, eh. Plus, I don't like mascots. I don't like them all. They just creep me out. So this is back in the day where their suits ain't like they are now, where they like one piece suits with the zipper in the back. And then you put the head on these things. You, they used to put on in sections. So they got Mickey Mouse, right? They have Mickey Mouse, like they got a parade, but they got people dressed as Mickey Mouse playing with the kids on the side of the road. And then they got these floats coming down with Mickey Mouse on the float. And the one that the Mickey Mouse that's on the uh, thing, you know, is that he got the best looking costume. These other Mickey Mouse people got standing costumes that's cheaply made. Anyway, right? It got to be like 100 degrees out there. Bunny steps to the side off away from the people, the buddy always blame her asthma on anything. It's hot. I got asthma. She'll get away from us and she go and sit down. I cut my eye because it's a bunch of people behind John Watch, but I can see through the people. Bunny then went off to the side. They got a little thing on the side where you could smoke. Bunny over there smoking, but she act like she was sitting down because John Watch couldn't see it. She was over there smoking in the thing and shit. Anyway, look. <laughs> We come, one of the Mickey Mouse people is coming down, right? And Mickey always do the same shit. Mickey be like, he'll put his hands like this, and then he'll do like this and shit. So Mickey walking and shit, he touching the kids, he keep doing the fucking happy shit. Mickey getting near us. My cousin Michelle see Minnie Mouse. So she little, she like, Minnie, Minnie Mouse, Minnie Mouse. So Minnie Mouse way over there and don't see her, but Mickey see her. So Mickey come over there, right? When Mickey come over there, John was like, look, look, uh, we, we call it uh, Shell. He like, look, Shell, that's Mickey. You like Mickey? Mickey's coming up. Come on, Mickey. Mickey's coming. John was all loud and bass. I'm standing there. I'm like, I got to be like 14 at the time. I'm like, oh, this is corny. Mickey come over. When Mickey come over, right, Mickey do like this. I happen to look the seat, the suit, part of the suit, I guess, you know, from having them big gloves on, part of the suit came loose. You could see his waist. You know what I'm saying? It was a dude and it was a white dude. <laughs> We're fruit of the looms on. He ain't have no clothes because, you know, th them suits be hot. So I guess they'd be like half naked in the suit. He had them fruit of the looms and shit. You could see his drawers, but it was like a gap. Like when he would lean up, it was a gap like that where you could see his hair on his stomach. And, hey, John, why I seen that shit? Mickey Mouse did like this and went to touch uh, my cousin Michelle. John Watts pushes Mickey hard as hell. All you heard was no. <laughs> Push Mickey on the ground. All these people is like. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I say, Dad. I say, Dad. I tell my young brother, baby. I said, go get mom. Go get mom. Because he about to cut a fool. John Watts pushed the man so hard his hat, his head came off. 
So when he pushed him down, right, he hit the ground, his shoulder hit the ground like his head, like, you know, and it was like Velcro around it. And the fucking shit flew up. And the dude, it was a redhead kid. He, he had to be like 19, 18. And he was like, dude, the head rolls up. Them kids start screaming. Ah! 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 People were like, what the fuck you doing that for, John Marsh? It was just a, maldro, a, 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 a wardrobe malfunction. He's sitting there. Look, 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 look. It's a snap. All it does is snap more. Come on, youngster, pick yourself. He's trying to call the guy. The guy's like, get off. Because the guy's like, why? It looked like John Marsh just attacked him. Now, the guy got his hat off. They don't, it, it ruins the parade. You know what I'm saying? John Marsh just threw Mickey was a perv, you know what I'm saying? Because his drawers was out, and he ain't went that on his door, on his, my cousin. I don't know how to, I don't know how to take that. I don't know why he would have made a big thing out of it. But, I mean, he was acting like the man was going to take him and put him in, put him inside the thing and stuff. But I remember he was like, no, and he, he pushed this dude hard as hell. Because his head snapped, and the fucking head rolled off and went in a little half arc and spun them kids thought Mickey was dead. They, they never saw, man, them little kids was crying. And, you know, Minnie ran over there. Uh, Pluto came and shit. And they picked them up and they just pushed them. You know, it was funny. They just pushed them through the crowd and took him on the side and put his thing back on. They went back out and was doing that shit. But Mickey wasn't on the side where we was at. They got this candy store on Main Street. So after that is over, it's kind of quiet for about 30 seconds. So John Wash is standing here. Now, I'm next to him. John Wash, one of them people where John Wash feels stupid, he start talking. So he's standing there, he's like, now he's looking straight. Look over there. That's Goofy. <laughs> he's to change the subject and shit. There's Goofy over there. So anyway, people are looking, right? He see me. I'm just looking at him. Misery love company. He embarrassed, so he got to talk to somebody. You know what I mean? Because spotlight on him. I didn't mean to push him down, Stevie, but his underwears were showing. I didn't, it, it wasn't a good look. I didn't want her to look in there and see his manhood. Mickey Mouse, tall as hell. She was a little girl. How are you going to go in there and see the manhood? I was like, oh, I said, yeah, I, I didn't see it. I said, uh, you know, I, I just, I ain't want to say shut up. You know what I'm saying? I would never say that. But I was just like, uh, oh, I didn't see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, his underwears. Like he kept pointing, like, yeah, his, his underwears were like showing right there. Yeah, he had on a. Uh, Fruit of Looms. I seen the white. I seen the, the band right there. They go and get money. Everything's quiet now. We start walking. It's a candy shop on Main Street. I see my brother go get Bunny. Bunny got to put the cigarette out. Cigarette ain't even halfway smoked. Bunny mad because she's fiending. She put the cigarette out. She walking up. She keep doing like this. She doing like this with her clothes. If you a smoker, people will smell smoke on you. You know what I'm saying? She walk up. Johnny, what happened? Why'd you beat on that boy? But boy, she was like, they just took the white boy over there. The white boy. They just took the white boy over there. They took the sleeves off his arms. He had a cut on his elbow. You pushed that man down, Stevie? I mean, um, Johnny, you pushed that man down? First of all, he's a boy. He's not a man. And second of all, he's coming over here. He's sitting there. He got his man who exposed. Ask Stevie. Don't put me in that. I was like, I didn't see it, Mom. You did too. I didn't see, Stevie, you didn't see his pants up when I pushed him down? You didn't see his underwears? I said, I wasn't look before I said looking. He did just like this. I was like, I did, I, I think I did see some drawers right there. He poked the shit out of me. I was like, I, I think I did see some underwears, like a, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, he did it. I was scared as hell. Yo, John Wash was, I had the shooting bail. He was about to fuck me up. So, but he's like, we paid all this money per person to come in here and you acting stupid like you're doing the street. You can't be doing that in here. They'll lock your ass up in Florida. They don't play that, Johnny. You can't do the stuff you do in Jersey and do it down here. John Wash doing this. The whole time she's talking, he looking at her. You know, his tongue, he'd be like. She got done, he was like. You kids want some candy? Come on, let's go get some candy. He's <laughs> just walking away from money and shit. Because all these people was looking. This is the part that was funny. As we walking away, a lot of people don't know how to whisper. We walking away, just the people and shit. I wish he had did that after such and such. She wanted to see Mickey. She just wanted to touch him. Like, <laughs> John Wash ruined experience with other kids and shit. Damn. 
So we go into the candy store and he brought us some candy. Well, he brought them some candy. I didn't really want that down there. But um, it was funny. We get in the car. We driving back. Funny. John Watch hits the car horn. Beep. He road racing. Beep, beep, beep. Come on, come on. Pick it up. Beep, 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 beep. All you hear is Bunny starting already. Who's driving the car over there? Was it Mickey Mouse again? You're beeping at Mickey, Johnny? He just stared at her hard as hell like, shut up, Bunny. And we just went back to the hotel and shit. Yo, John Watts is nuts, man. But yeah, I remember that shit. He pushed, he pushed motherfucking the dude that he pushed him hard too. I don't think he, I think because he saw the costume was big, he didn't know it was a skinny ass kid in there. So he thought it was some weight on that thing. When he pushed that shit, that shit flew. A dude landed on his arm like, and his head just flipped. That shit came off. But yeah, that's that story, man. I'm going to tell you this story right here. Now, Raheem, you from Camden, like me, so you know. Anybody else in here been to Jersey? If y'all ever been to Great Adventure or well, Six Flags in, in Jersey, they used to have a long time ago the safari. Y'all ever been to the... Uh, Six Flags when they had the safari in Jersey. Anybody in here? They used to have monkeys and all kind of shit. We went to the safari one time. It was me. We had all we had all went, but my John Moss had just bought this brand new Cadillac. It was a brown Cadillac because John Moss' favorite color is brown. He bought this brand new Cadillac. I had to be. I, I remember this shit. I had to be in like fourth grade. Yeah, fourth grade. And um, we go out to Six Flags. Got my stepdad with me, my mom, my two brothers. They in one car. It's me, Bunny, John Wash in the other car. Now, John, Wa you know, back in the day when you got a new car, that was the shit. It smelled good. Everybody want to ride in a new car. So all of the kids, my brother, my brother was like, oh, we want to ride in that new car. My little, little brother was a baby. And like he had a bib on. This one, we people ain't wear have car seats too. So for him to ride in the car, either I had to hold him, and that was like an hour drive. I had to hold him, or uh, my mom would have to drive the car with us, and her husband just be. So John Watts was like, "No, no, no, no kids can ride in the car. <laughs> My did his grandkids like, no, ride over there with your mom." Plus, he, I don't think he wanted them in there to make the car dirty and stuff. So John Watts got this car for two days. We flies down there. They, John, remember I said John Watch had the CV. He thought he was a trucker and shit. He got the CV all hooked up on the Cadillac. My stepdad got one too. So they talking like they BJ and a bear and shit going up and down the road. Breaker, breaker, the bullshit. You know how I go. Anyway, I'm in the back seat. They talking and doing their bullshit. Hey, let's go through the drive. Uh, let's go through the. Uh, Cause like when you come up, when you we would come up, it'd be like a toll thing. You would pay and then go into the big parking lot. They said, you want the safari, the safari free. So they gave him two tickets, right? One for us, one for my uh, mom and them, right? Go through. So we start going through the safari shit, right? Now, this great adventure, I ain't been there in a long time, but it was in the middle of like civilization. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's not in the, in the country. It's not, it's shit around it. So I'm like, it's a zoo. It's a safari. I said, what is the safari? I don't know what it is. So we go through the door and they got these big ass, uh, you go through these big ass things like Jurassic Park and they got these big ass, uh, you know, you got little animal cutouts in wood with signs with they shape like animals, giraffes and all this other shit. And they got a big thing up there. Do not give food to the animals. Do not wind your windows down. Keep your windows up. If you got antennas, take your antennas down. Don't turn your radios on. Uh, what did they say? It's something else. Oh, your windshield wipers. Don't turn your windshield wipers on anything. And it's telling you, warning. John Wash, see that? He like, oh, they got a picture where it shows the animals walking around the car. John Wash got the caddy. Oh, I ain't trying to go in here. But now the line too long and like we can't get back out. So he like, and I keep seeing him doing like this. I keep hearing Bunny whispering because, you know, I was still a kid. So they watched they say around. Me, you wanted to come. You, you, you wanted to come because, you know, Bunny was scared. Bunny scared of everything. So she was already telling they had got to like a mini argument. Bunny don't want to go back there with monkeys and all kind of stuff. She don't want to go back there. She tell me, 
you know, these, these monkeys are dangerous. You know, you know, bunny is. Look, we drive back there. So we start going through there. We don't see nothing. And then, like, you know, you go back there, they start having animals in pens or like gates where you could see zebras and shit. And he's like, oh, look at the zebras. This and that. John Watch feel comfortable. We keep going because they had like gates up. You know, like, like, little, you know, like when you go, like, you see cattle, got that gate shit up there. Like, the shit can't come out. All of a sudden, these giraffes just come walking across the fucking street like it ain't nothing. These motherfuckers was tall as hell. They just walking like it ain't shit. Purple ass tongues and shit. John Wash. Hey, look, look at the giraffes. They tell you not to honk your horn back there, too. People going. All of a sudden, when you're going through the safari, people are stupid. They'll stop. Like, you have to stay on the road. People just stopping. And they looking at stuff, bro, like keep going. So John Wash want to hit the horn, but he can't. So people are sitting there and people are hard headed. I think that's why they don't have safaris. Anymore. I don't even think they have some safaris no more. Look. Dudes winding the window down, leaning out, taking pictures of stuff. Are you stupid? And I'm in my head. I'm like, yo, the sign just said I was a little kid and I knew I said, why do you sit? Well, why you can't just listen? You know what I'm saying? This is why motherfuckers get killed. So check this out. We moving, moving, moving. All of a sudden, they got these baboons, right? I'm going to tell you something. Baboons big as shit. You see them on TV, they big as hell. They got fucking dog teeth in their mouth. Shit's like that. Things like that. You know any monkey with his ass out ain't fucking around. Dumb motherfuckers. Cock diesel, right? Big ass hair on their back. Dog ass faces. Baboons come out. It's a baby baboon on one of the mom's backs. When he sees it. Oh, look, Johnny. Look. John Wash eating a banana in the car. Because we used to have this picnic basket. And I don't know why John Wash used to be frugal. He had a, he a pack of lunch. We would have to come out the park, eat, and then go back in. He'll pay for it because he don't want to pay for the food in there. Embarrassing. And it was always be bologna and cheese sandwiches with like no mayonnaise or nothing. Just bread and just meat. Nobody would eat that. Like only old people. Well, I ain't old yet, so I guess I ain't got that type of palate. But they would just, I'm like, yo, nobody would eat this shit. So anyway, or it'd be cold chicken legs that was fried the night before. Yeah. Anyway, listen. We got the picnic basket in the back. He like, Steven, watch this. Give me one of them chicken legs. I said, what? My mom like, don't give you no chicken leg. I said, dad, I don't think it's, shut up, Stevie. Give me one of them goddamn chicken legs. They in foil in the uh, styrofoam plate. I take it out. I give it to him. He wind the window down. He cracked the window. They coming across the thing. It's probably about 10 or 15 baboons. They got this big giant baboon in the front that stops in the middle of the street and he's doing something with his hands and all of these baboons are going. All these women with babies and stuff. I said women. All these mothers with babies and stuff. John Wash winds the window down. He start whistling like it's a dog. <laughs> They ain't paying any no mind. He throws the damn, he, John Wash has no coordination. He goes to throw the chicken leg. When he throws the chicken leg, the chicken leg lands on top of the hood of the car. Cause like, you know, the window was up halfway down. So he went to throw it and his hand all big and it hit the front of the, you know, the part that come down on the door. It hit it and like made the chicken leg fall and it lands on the hood. He like, oh, it's on the front of the car. So he moving up, but he trying to like hit the brakes to make the chicken leg roll off, but the chicken leg won't move. As he's doing that, he's getting closer to this monkey. The monkey looks up, sitting on the ground. The monkey looks up, sees John Moss, and then moves out a little bit like it's going away. So we driving by, and Bunny's doing this. Speaking of that, I'm going to tell you all another thing about Tony that was funny. So he's like, he's like, so John Moss think that Bunny's scared that he's going to hit the monkey. This is him. I'm going slow. I ain't going to run over the damn ape. He's looking at her. All of a sudden, you hear this. I said, look, I just jumped up. We didn't have seatbelts seat on back in the day. I'm sitting in the middle of the seat between them. I'm like, look, the motherfucking big ass baboon, y'all, is sitting on John Wash hood. Just jumps up there. And he's standing there. He's looking at John Wash. And if you look at a baboon from the front, they jaws right here is big ass muscles in that shit. So he's sitting there. He's like this. His teeth, he grabs the chicken leg, he puts the chicken leg in his mouth, but he don't chew it. He put the chicken leg in his mouth. And then he just sat on the hood of the car. He sat on the hood of the car. John Mosh, hey, hey, 
John Watts trying to hit the thing. When John Watts go to hit the thing, he stands up and starts walking towards the windshield. You start, start walking towards the windshield, everything they say don't do, John Watts doing. But he likes, yo, Johnny, just stop and he'll get off the car. This car I paid, how, many, how much amount, what, what did you say? I, I paid so much money, I can't, whatever. How much money, I can't have him on the damn car. John Wash start doing stuff like he can't hit the horn and he's trying to make the thing get off. It won't get off. So he pushes the button, the water shoots, the jet of water shoots up. When the jet of water shoots up, the uh, thing takes the, uh, the monkey takes the thing out of his mouth, start licking the water off the glass, off the, uh, the fluid shit, start licking it off the glass. And uh, John Wash turned the white windshield wipers on. What y'all think happened? What you think happened? Motherfucking monkey just, he saw him moving and he just put his hand on, he put his hand up against it and stopped the motor, like, like the thing. Now, back in the day, when you put the uh, windshield wiper, I don't know if it's still like that. It used to be like these little grooves on it that keep it in place. He held that shit so hard and then just pulled it. It sheared all of that shit off. Like you heard it. <laughs> Shit it off. So now we got one one thing. He done ripped the thing off, right? And he picked up the thing and goes to run off. When he goes to run off, John Wash, God damn it, he jumps out the car. Bunny grabs his shirt. Johnny, you're gonna die. Stop. You know what I'm saying? He's not going after the, he's not going after the, the, the baboon, but he's just trying to scare it to make it drop it so he can pick the thing up. I'm like, yo, John Wash, wow. My mom and them behind us, she beeped. Now she on the thing. Mom, tell him to stop. Daddy, please. I'm just getting the wiper. I'm just getting the wiper. He throws the wiper down. The thing runs off and it drops the wiper. But the wiper's like fucking what, 20 feet away? You're not supposed to get out the car. My granddad got on dress shoes, dress socks. You know what I'm saying? The shorts. He looked crazy as hell. You know this man got out the car? People are like, beep, hey, 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 hey. You hear somebody in the back, hey, asshole. John Wash picks the thing up. He walks back. All you heard was, hey, asshole, get in that car. All you heard was John Wash. Your mama. <laughs> I don't know why you should say that. Your mama. John Wash flips him the finger and shit. I've never seen John Wash get nobody to figure before before that. He said, your mama. He <laughs> can't fucking figure and shit. And we get in the car. John Wash is heated. He's driving. We driving. We driving. We don't see any more animals besides the giraffes. We seen some elements in the pen, but no, nothing else was really walking across the street. But we terrified. I'm sweating. I don't even want to get in the rides no more. Because, I mean, when that motherfucker smiled down them teeth, hell no, that was it for me. We get out the thing. John Wash, uh, do I get a reimbursement? Uh, the monkey ripped this off my thing? They said, sir? He, did he jump up on, on your car? Like, yeah, he jumped up on my car. Yeah, yeah. I tried to scare him with the windshield wipers. Sir, you wasn't supposed to do the windshield wipers. How was I supposed to get him off the car? I didn't want him to take a crap on my hood. This car is brand new. Only had it three days. He said, sir, you can't blow the horn. You can't. As we was going out, y'all know, y'all, you'll be saying, y'all be saying Karens and stuff like that. A person's a Karen. This was the first Karen in history, I guess, if that's what y'all call them. This lady, this white lady drove up. Well, because John Marsh got up the car and he was standing with some of the tennis people. He's showing them. White lady came up. It's his fault. He beat the horn. He threw a chicken leg out. The chicken leg is back there in the street. The baboon didn't even eat it, sir. It's back there. See that bush? She started telling on John Marsh. John, John Marsh just looked at her like, your goddamn lie. Lies. Lies. Bunny. And then he, when he said bunny, he wanted bunny to lie. And then he must have thought in his head that bunny going to shit on it. He was like, bunny, uh, kids, uh, Stevie. Don't ask Stevie nothing, Johnny. Get in the car, Stevie. I turned around, took my little ass in the car. They was out there talking for a while. I don't know what happened, but they let us in the park for free. But John Wash, man, do some crazy shit, man. He lucky. He lucky. He was a lot. That thing, John Wash crazy, but that thing was crazy. If that shit had bit him, fuck. I mean, the way that motherfucker's mouth was, damn. The way he grabbed the, the windshield wiper, he just looked with a straight face and just, 
held it with his hand, where he put his hand up against the thing, and it just sheared off. Like, I said, damn. Then he just grabbed him, just ran off with chicken leg and shit. Dropped the chicken leg, dropped the wiper, jumped over the gate, and just went with the rest of the monkeys. So once again, I survived. Shit. Let me tell you another story. Let me finish telling you about the story about Tony. I forgot to tell you. Tony act like Bunny in the car. And yeah, I'm telling it, Tony. You act like Bunny. I be driving straight. I don't even be doing nothing. Just driving on the highway. This motherfucker grab a, uh, what's that thing that you hold on to? The little hand wrap thing? <sighs> we going on the bridge. She's doing like this with her hands. Her hands sweaty as fuck. <laughs> You, you damn right I'm snitching. Shit. Give me a heart attack. We driving over, what was we in Mississippi, going over these bridges or Alabama, somewhere we was at, going, she, I said, look over there. I'm, I'm like, look at that water over there. Like, we on the bridge. She's like, no, just, just concentrate on the road. I'll look later. You can't look later because we won't, what I'm telling you, look, I won't be there no more. She's grabbing the thing. You know that thing when you turn too hard, it keep you straight in the wheel. She grabbing that, right? She grabbing that. We going straight. Why are you grabbing that shit for? I'm like, yo, you like bunny for real. You really scared of me driving? I drive like a regular person. You know what I'm saying? She wouldn't even go to sleep. I'm like, yo, take a nap. Do something. You know what I'm saying? The whole time she, her hands, just, just, just concentrate on the road. What you want me to do, man? Which I, I can't never win. We made it here, so that should count for nothing. All right, I'm going to tell you all this other story, right? This story right here, this will be my last story for tonight because I'm hot. Shit. We're going to call this story MLK. I had a client out here, like, you know, with me, what I do with, you know, dealing with installing the aquariums and stuff. I meet a lot of people that I find interesting or people that find me interesting. I met this guy, he was around my age, right? His name was Caesar. Shout out Caesar. I don't know where he's at, but I serviced this tank about the equivalent of five months. So I got a pretty good idea of, you know, getting to know this guy and his family. Everything was cool. This guy, he was from LA. He's a Mexican dude. He looked the part. Ball head, always had the low sunglasses, would wear the flannel stuff. But I mean, he had some type of professional job. I don't know what it was, but, you know, he had a really nice home, like a four or five hundred thousand dollar home. This guy was making money. He was getting it, whatever he was doing. So out here, a lot of times uh, MLK, like they had this thing where they have cars and they would go on MLK and they drive back and forth. And it was like some type of event. Now, I've only been over there one time for this car event. I think it might be Martin Luther King Day when they had a thing out here in Houston where they drive the cars, different color cars, and they'd be swerving with the long spokes on or the swingers or whatever. He like, I don't have my kids out here. It's just me. He like, yo, what you doing Saturday? He like, yo, why don't you come to the MLK Day thing with me? He like, yo, it's going to be some bad chicks there. I'm like, yeah, I'll do it. I'm like, all right. So I service his tank on Wednesday. So me and him keep in contact. He like, Saturday, come over at 8 o'clock in the morning. And we'll start. He said, my wife going to be cooking and all this other stuff. She's going to be making all this stuff. And we're going to take it with us and go out there. So I'm like, all right, cool. I get over there. Something happened the night before. Him and the wife got to argue. She ain't cooked nothing. So now she ain't even going. So now it's me and him going out here in this MLK day. This thing over there off of Cullen and, you know, Southwest Hood. You know what I'm saying? Shout out. So anyway. As we going over there, we stop at a public storage. Now he got a regular uh, Cadillac S S T V S T S or whatever. What is it with S Cadillac S? It's a nice little sporty car. We in that, I'm thinking we gonna park and just look at the car. He's like, yo, you get over here, man. It's nice, man. It's a lot of honeys, all kind of stuff. You you gonna like it? So I'm like, all right, cool. We drive. We go to a public storage. We go to the public storage. When we get to the public storage, right? He says. When I go in the public storage, like we pull in the pub, we pull in, go past the gate and we go to the public storage unit. It's an outside unit, right? He said, I'm going to pull the car out and then you put my car in there. I said, what car? This guy had a car he brought from California with him and he wanted to drive it at the, you know, everybody, it's like a car show. People take their cars. You know what I'm saying? So 
He take he he come out. He pull the tarp off. Now I'm in the car. I, I see him pull the tarp off, but I don't know what he's pulling the tarp off of. He come out in this car, man. I ain't never seen nothing like this, man. It's a black. What's it? A Monte Carlo, like an older Monte Carlo, but it's a low rider, and he got 16 switches or whatever the fuck that shit is on it. The shit on like the Dr. Dre video, like back in the day. He got uh, golden chrome Dayton tires on it. Motherfucker, he's immaculate. When you get up on it, it had the ghost paint job. It was black with like, it looked like silver or gray haze, but it had like all of those elaborate uh, painting on them and stuff. It had hydraulics on it too. He pulled this car out. When he pulled the car out, man, that motherfucker was clean. He was like, yeah, I just charged it up last night. I said, charge it up? What do you mean charged it up? He was like, back up. So he sticks his hand in the car and that shit raises up. Like, in fact, the, the shit looked like the car. What was that? A Monte Carlo on a training day. It was the same exact kind of car like that. I guess it was the same shape. And uh, it had the ghost, like, you know, like all that elaborate artwork. And when I heard that shit go, I was hooked. I was hooked. I ain't gonna lie. I was dicky. Hard. I'm like, yo, that shit hard. Because, you know, back in the day, when you see that on TV, I ain't never, I ain't never seen it up close. I seen cars that look like that, but I never seen them jump and move and shit. I'm um, super. I said, "So we going in this?" He like, "Yeah." We get in the car. The whole bottom of the car, chrome springs, everything chrome, chrome, right? So we get in the car, and he got the inside of the car like it's custom, but it's still like looking like an old car on the inside, old radio, CD player at the time. We get in the car. He got the CD thing, you know, the catalog with CDs in it. He put the Dr. Dre chronic in there. We zooming down the road, jumping in every damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to tell you something. If you've ever been in one of them cars, them shit's loud. That shit sound like it's breaking. Boom. Boom. You can hear this metal and shit jumping and shit. I want you to go on YouTube and look at one of them things where they show, like in California, where they show the cars going up and down the road. You never look at the people. You only look at the car. When you look at the people, go back and look now that a lot of y'all are older. The people look stupid as hell when that car be bouncing in the car. They be trying to look cool, but that shit be making their body go all over and shit. They be looking stupid. So look, we get in the car. Now, mind you, I have sciatica. Now, it kicks in like once every two years or if the weather get really stupid. You know what I'm saying? My back can be fucked up. And like the way sciatica hit me is in my lower back. Like, I'll go to stand up and I can't stand up all the way. And if I do, my legs will give out. You know what I mean? So it's like I got to just put heat on my back and just deal with it any way I can. And it only lasts about a day. So anyway, my sciatica kicks in on Thursday. Now, I went and serviced this fish tank on Wednesday. So my sciatica kick in Thursday. I'm like, damn, I got to get rid of the sciatica before Saturday. So it starts, you know, it's a mild attack. So Friday evening, I run over to, uh, they got this thing called the joint. Right. Where it's like, you know, I don't know if y'all have been, to, it's like a chiropractor where they'll realign your hips and shit and take the pressure off of the nerves in your back. The make sciatica go. So I get up, I feel brand new, wake up the next day, I shoot out. I ain't thinking nothing of it. But I'm noticing in the car because it only has seat, it's an older car, so it had the seat belt down here. Because he then took the side seat belt off. So it just had the seat belt on here. So every time the shit is jumping, it's lifting me up and it's snatching me back. I'm laughing and having fun. I jumps out the car. We standing on the side of the road. He done parked the shit on three wheels. People looking at it and stuff like that. He got the low glasses on. I'm standing next to him. I'm basking in his coolness. You know what I'm saying? The honeys is looking. They taking pictures. They got the Daisy Dukes. They had the bubble. I was looking to get in trouble. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing happening. No. But anyway, we out there. So now it's getting dark. We done ate some barbecue. We done met some people hanging out. We go to leave. We get in the car and as we take off, everything cool. I start feeling tightness in my back, right? I start feeling tightness in my back and I'm like, damn. I said, man, I feel like I might have sciatica, but I'm like, I wouldn't have sciatica. I can feel it coming. I'm like, why does it feel like this? I just got the nerve, you know, I just got the chiropractic stuff. So I know it can't be sciatica. Yo, he dropped me off the house. He turned around and took off. You know, I, I stood there and I talked to him. I didn't move my feet. I just got out the car and I stood up. I'm like, man, my back's stiff as hell. 
This motherfucker turned through the cul-de-sac and just took off and went back, right? And he jumped the car, like people was out, his kids out there, he jumped the car, got to the end of the thing, went three-wheel motion and took off. I goes to turn and walk and my motherfucking legs get out. I thought I was paralyzed. My back started spasming. I'm laying on the ground. It's neighbors outside watering the grass and I just fell out. But I'm so stupid, instead of saying help, I don't want to look like no bitch. So this is me. I'm on the ground and I'm moving like an army man and my legs are paralyzed. They both point in one way and I'm dragging myself like a crippled dog, but I'm laughing while these people are looking at me going to goddamn yard. I'm so, I'm so dumb back then. I ain't gonna look weak. I'm like, uh, uh. my shit was throbbing. That man, my spine was throbbing, y'all. My shit was fucked up. I crawled through the door. I just sit, you think I'm covered in sweat. Just that fast. I was like, and the guy's looking at me like, you okay? I say, I'm standing there. And I grab onto the screen door and I pull myself up and I stand and I hold myself. For about five minutes, unlock the door, walked in, stiff, went and sat down on the couch and laid there until the fucking next morning. Couldn't get, I had to pee in the middle of the night. I said, fuck that, I'm not moving. Man, my back fell out. Like that shit was, yeah, it was painful. I don't know if y'all ever had sciatica, man. It ain't nothing but pinched nerves in your back. That shit, and you can't control it. You'll walk, you, you'll hear your spurring, like twisting and cracking and shit because your muscles, hell no. Shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, that, that, that was it, man. And uh, that next month I serviced this guy's tank and then I never seen him again. I, he, he just lost contact. You know, I wait for people to call me by, by appointment. He never called me back. So if he's still out there, man, shout out. But dumb the stories for the night. I'm trying to keep this around an hour now. I ain't trying to like be in here too long. Here's one more thing. I'm going to tell you something. Now, Tony lives here with me now. It's a lot of an adjustment, y'all. It's a lot of adjustment. This motherfucking house cold. Now, remember I told y'all before, when I stayed with Tony, her house was cold. She brought that shit with her. House cold. You see, I got this hoodie on. Y'all see, yes, uh, see my videos I've been doing. I've been trying to reduce them to under 10 minutes. Go review a little my videos, 10, 12 minutes. That's all I can stand. Vent right here. That shit cold. I told her, I said, yeah, well, you got the light bill. You, you can handle the electric bill if you want to keep this shit like Winter Wonderland. Like it's frozen or something. You the ice princess. This shit cold in here. You know what I'm saying? This how cold it is. The lotion in the bathroom, my lotion on the side of the bed. I asked, I said, can you put some lotion on my back? You know what I mean? Because I'll be scratching shit. She puts the, oh, the lotion on my back. When the lotion touched my body, that shit felt like ice cold water. I jumped. Ah, shit. She done froze the damn house up. You know what I'm saying? It's like living with Jack Frost. It's all right, though. I'll, get, I'll adjust to it. I like wearing hoodies. Anyway. But yeah, man, that, that's it for tonight. I wanted to talk to y'all. Somebody sent me a message. Where are you talking about Tony? Where are Tony at? Tony's here. She just ain't going to let you see her. You know what I'm saying? Right? T tell them you here, Tony. You here, right? In fact, I'll prove it to you. Thank you, Susie Q. Welcome to Texas, Miss Tony, and we are praying. Why you give it to Tony? You never put my name in there when you get that kind of uh, cash, Susie Q. You see what I'm saying? See how Susie Q do me? She did that on purpose. Susie Q, I'm going to call you after we get done. You did that on purpose. Tony, do me a favor. Tony, come here for a second. Come here. A lot of y'all don't believe she here. I'm gonna show you she here. Tony, can you come here for a second? What if she don't come? I'm gonna look stupid, right? Just come to the door. This ghetto as hell, right? This ghetto as hell. Come to the door. Just come to the door. I'm not gonna show you. Come on, mama. Say something. They know you're here. Y'all heard her, right? Y'all want to see her? No. Look, she, look, she don't want to be seen. That's she don't want to be seen. Shit. <laughs> yeah, but she, I'll, be on, I'll be on King's channel tomorrow. You going to show yourself? I'll be on King's channel. You making a cameo? On King's channel. You going to show your real face? On King's channel. Y'all heard it right there. She going to be on King's channel tomorrow night. Y'all better. Only for King. He only for King? King? You see, uh, what's the name just sent you? $50 again? Slap in my face. All right. You know what? I got you. I got you. You know what? You know what? 
wait, wait, hold on. Let me let me take this thing off right before I leave out here. I got to show I got to show uh Susan Q. I got this medium shirts on. You be clowning me over this medium shirts. I got it on. So you can clown me all you want. That shit is real right there. It ain't nothing but 12 inches, but it's real. You know what I'm saying? I'm freezing shit. Hey, but listen, y'all. Ah, don't put them eyes up there, Susie Q. Need to send me $50 just for embarrassing myself. But anyway, guys, as always, man, I appreciate y'all. And uh, I'm glad you guys stick by me. I'm glad I make it, made it back safely. I'm glad you got some laughs tonight. And it feels good doing another live stream because we ain't did one in a while. And my hat does not match my clothes. So, like, I feel funny. So, I'm going to get up off of here. But as always, man, I love you guys. Thank you for supporting me. Y'all be good. So, uh, the thing real quick before I go, the thing real quick with uh, my uh, subscribe. I mean, my subscribers. My moderators, do y'all want to do a live? Uh, uh, <laughs> shit. A damn... Uh, Group text thing where y'all can talk amongst yourselves and get to know each other and stuff after these lives or whenever. Y'all want to do that? Because I'll set it up if that's what some of the stuff y'all want to do. All right. So y'all say good? Okay. By next Friday, we'll have all this up and running. So do me a favor. If you did not send me your uh, phone number in the email, send me your phone number. Say, hey, Steve, this is such and such. You know what I'm saying? And just send me your phone number and then I'll do a big group chat. And I'll say, hey, guys, this is the group chat. And I'll say, hey, identify yourself when you come in because, you know, nobody knows who anybody is. So, like, you know, they put the number with the person if y'all want to do that. So y'all just for moderators only. All right. So as always, uh, why I'm I always about to do that, like do my uh, intro, my outro, like like, comment, share, subscribe. I mean, damn, y'all already subscribers. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed yourself. I'm going to get off of here. I got to cook dinner because uh, Tony's starving. She gave me that look. It's my night to cook. So I'll see you guys later. I appreciate you. I love you as always. I'll see you tomorrow. You guys be good. Um, I used to